Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so uh, this video, I want to explain, uh, I, I want to make a serious video about explaining this uh, very famous idea in the analytic number theory, or basically the, the, the additive number theory called the hardy ramanujan with circle method. So this, this method is very amazing that when I first time I, I saw some, uh, I, I saw some examples, I said, oh, so, 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 in, so, so amazing that one can come up with this type of idea that the, uh, uh, try to connect the 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 number theory or basically the additive the additive combinatorics into the uh, into using the analysis. Okay, and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and uh, I will introduce this. Okay, so this is a very simple video and I'll give you guys the first the first idea. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, so uh, so uh, so this this method I think constructed by the Ramanujan and the uh, Hardy and Littlewood, and the uh, next that uh, you then the people uh, starting uh, using this method into the Goldbach conjecture. Okay, and uh, so basically the, this is uh, originally developed by Hardy and Littlewood and uh, Ramanujan, and then finally go to the Vinogradov. So Vinod Gordo has a famous uh, three prime theory. So basically, or a weak Kolbach conjecture. That uh, that uh, pr uh, one can prove that for every uh, number uh, greater than equal to seven, which is e uh, odd, can be expressed into sum of three primes. Okay, so notice that the, the, this can be proved by if you prove the Kolbach conjecture. So it's a, also a famous Kolbach. So Goldbach say tell you that any uh, even number greater than two can be expressed into sum of two primes. Okay, and uh, this type of conjecture is so difficult that uh, I, I think up to now the 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 most possible the the the, the, the most uh, possible way that one can attack is using this uh, this circle method. Okay, so the starting point is that. Uh, the people like the, the, mass, uh, the mass, mass mathematician like to talk about this kind of additive properties. Okay, so idea is that uh, let's say uh, you get some i, let's say i from one to n is a subset. So for each, so for each, for, so each, uh, for each l of i is a subset of positive integer. And we want to ask, so the, the question is that, uh, let's say this is s, right? So the question is that, uh, uh, you let's say you pick some x, you pick some n belongs to this n, and you want to ask uh, the number of solutions. So you want to ask uh, the number of solutions that uh, n can be expressed in terms of the ai. Okay, so which means that uh, it's a one of the as, and each ai is restricted into ai. Okay, so this type of question is called additive problems. And you can check that most of the difficult mathematical question come up, uh, many of the mathematical difficult question come up with these type of forms. Okay, so for example, the famous, uh, the famous Goldbach. Okay, so you're, you can take for every even, let's say you take even greater than two, and then let's call it in, and then you can define a P to be the all the prime, uh, the, the all the prime, okay. So we can define the R to N to be the solution of, so basically the number of solution of, let's say uh, P1 and P2, such that N is P1 plus P2. Okay, so you can see that uh, this type of question is exactly the same, the same format as, as, as this one, right? You just take, yes, you just take N to be the, let's say the even number, and you take each A, I, you take a, Two subsets, and then each one is a prime number, uh, a prime, right? So, so the Goldbach conjecture implies that the R two of n greater or equal to one. Okay, so up to now, the people cannot prove this. Okay, and the second is that famous results that the people already proved that the so if your prime number, which is one mod four, can be summed with two, uh, uh can be summed with two uh integers, uh, two, two squares. Okay, so P can be either s square plus y square, which x y belongs to a. Okay, and uh, this is for uh, the famous uh, the famous result proved by Fermat. And uh, you can also see my previous uh, my video that uh, Don Zager come up with the 
the very beautiful proof that only use the very simple idea. Okay, so this is also the same thing. You take p and then you take some uh, number. In this problem now, the, the number is the subset of the integer, which is a square, okay? And also the, also the, also the famous question is called the variance problem. Okay, so variance problem is asked the, uh, let's say you, you pick some k, which is a greater or equal to one, and the g of k will be the minimum number Minimum number s, okay, such that uh, every uh, every integer, uh, every uh, positive integer, can be expressed into the sum of the let's say n i to the k, right, for each for uh, uh, a up to like g of k. Okay, so the so these uh, let's maybe. Uh, the, some one famous example is say you take k equals to two, and you want to ask how many number that if you only use the square, then how many number how what's the minimum number you need to make it a sum of the square to be to be that number. So for example, seven you can check yeah, seven need need four square, seven need one square plus one square plus one square plus two square, and the seven cannot be written as the sum of three squares. Okay, so who's give give you G two? He just uh, it's greater equal to four. Okay, and uh, this is a famous Lagrange theorem that uh, you can prove by using the Minkowski theorem. And uh, previously has the video that proof is okay. So G two equals to four. So you can see that this kind of type of problem is also the same as the additive problem that uh, you give some number and you want to ask how many that uh, you restricted some subsets of, of integers. Okay, so this type of problem can be attacked by using the uh, the circle method. Okay, so in this video, let me just introduce a very simple question that uh, you, one can use circle uh, solve this, and then in a future video, I will introduce the more difficult one. Okay, so this is a very simple one. Okay, so let's consider s equal to two. So you only got two numbers, and uh, and then you also consider the two subsets, which is a, which is the same as the subset of n. And then let's say you can construct f of z. Uh, this f of z is trivial. Uh, this f of z is just okay. So this f this f of z will be uh, defined to be. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's do this. Defined to be a n uh, z to n. Okay, n from zero to infinity, and uh, where a n is a uh, very simple, right? If uh, n belongs to a one, it just give you one, and n do not belong to a one, give you zero. Okay. And you, if you take square, if you take a square, then the then you got something, right? You get a n, uh, z n, right? Uh, let's say a m, z m. Okay. So if you do, uh, if you compute compute, you get a n, a m, z m plus m, right? And n a, which you can uh, you can make it like uh, you let's call this, and you can write as a c of n z n. And uh, now C of n is defined to be a h a k such that h plus k equals n. Okay. So which tell you that uh, which tell you that uh, if, if if somebody give you n and you want to ask let's say r two n defined to be the number of so that defined to be the number of solutions such that a one a two uh, where n equals to a one plus a two and the a one uh, a two belongs to a one and a two. If you want to ask the the r the r two n what's the number or what's the the number of r two uh, what's the r two n, then what you're asking is that it's exactly as uh, all the information are encoded as in in terms of this c n. Right? So if you see it carefully, that you just understand that this f square z exactly will be the summation of r two n right z. Okay. Okay, so you can do the same thing, right? You can, so from here that you can also do the f to the power of s will be the summation of r s n z n and from zero to infinity, and at least r s n will define to be the number of uh, let's say a one of a s belongs to a s. Now that uh, let's say everything is the same, the uh, your n will be a one a s. 
So now, now suppose so 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 you might think, oh, this is too trivial, right? Because you just use the cozy products, so you just compute well, one by one. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, I mean, it, I mean, it looks trivial, right? But how can you come up with this coefficient by using this at least? Right? So you can use a complex analysis. Okay, so you can use the complex analysis, the cozy theorem. Okay, so if you you can use the cozy theorem, right? So the cozy theorem will tell you that this RSN will be one over two pi i, right? Then you go through, let's say you go through uh, the some radius row, which is along the along the along the right along the origin, and uh, you just do this f to s z uh, z n plus one dz. Okay, so this is a circle method. You 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 express the number of solution. You express the number of solutions, and uh, in terms of the in terms of the complex analysis. So this is somehow very stupid. This looks like uh, you you try to make a simple question difficult, right? But actually, this f of s contains all the information of this function. So maybe this f of s has some idea. This is exactly the same as you try to prove. You want to find the prime number, the distribution of primes that you will connect all the prime numbers into the Riemann zeta function, and then you do the analytic continuation of zeta function. Then the, finally, the the distribution of prime numbers become the the zero of zeta function. This is exactly the same thing that you uh, transform the additive problems into the uh, you transform the additive and combinatorial problems into the uh, that kind of complex analysis. Okay, so the first simple examples. This is a trivial example, but uh, I think it's very interesting. So this trivial example is that uh, uh, I uh, we 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 want to ask that uh, we want to uh, just come. We want to choose. Let's say uh, we choose uh, a to be n. Okay, so this just ask uh, uh, what is R k n. Here is just the number of solutions such that a one, a two, up to a k, such that a one up to a k is n. Okay, and the a a and each i greater or equal to one. Okay, this is the, what this combinatorics. Right, so you just ask how many numbers that there's no restriction sum to n. Okay, so you can use your uh, elementary school combinatorics to prove that this is n plus k minus one. Choose k minus one. Okay, so we want to use so this is the the result that we already know, right? But we are we want, we want to use this circle method circle method to to give you an answer. Okay, so this is so big. Okay, so you can let's compute f of z. So in this case, your a will be all integer. Right? So this will be this. Okay, and you might care. You might worry about oh, what would I mean possible? What what what's the possible radius convergence? Right, you you need to further assume this. Yeah, I can further assume this, but further but when I do the integral, I can choose row less than one, so it will be fine. Okay. Okay, so now I can just wide. Okay, so uh, from a circle method, right? So the circle method tell me that RKN can be expressed in terms of this. Okay, so I just uh, choose one over minus one K and uh, the N plus one, DZ. Okay, so your goal is just to try to find your, uh, find this integral. And then this is very simple complex analysis. All you need to do is just do the Laurent expansion of z equals zero and take out the z minus one terms. Okay, by the Laurent expansion. But it should be simple, hopefully. Okay, so you can check. You can check this. This just one minus minus k uh, one minus one z plus minus k two minus two z squared. Okay, and then you can check this is exactly minus km minus z to m. Okay, so if you notice, then the then you go back your rkn, rkn will be just forget about this one over two pi i in the gamma row. Okay, and then you did the. Uh, okay, and uh, which is uh, also you times this. Z and minus one, DZ. Okay, and you only take the you only take the Z minus one term. Okay, so which means that uh, uh, your N plus N plus one should be minus one. Okay. Uh, so which means uh, sorry, 
Uh, also, this is minus one. So I'm stupid. So you need a n minus n minus one to be minus one, which tell you that n must equals n. Okay, so you don't you don't care about this, right? You just take m equals n. You get the minus k n minus and the right. You take the this integral, right? So and, it, and there's a minus one here, and the okay. So this is your results. Okay, so this is your results. And then you can check this one. Check this one is exactly the same as um plus k minus one k minus one. So, which means that uh, yeah, you you're very beautiful that you you, you choose a, a very uh curved way that you you use a complex analysis, compute this RSN, and uh, try to do this. Okay, but actually, in the more difficult question, for example, the Goba the 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 the, the Goba conjecture, that uh, there's no way that you can start from uh, you can, you 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 if you want to use the an analysis tool that you need to somehow like compress everything into, in terms of power series. And uh, try make try to hopefully this multiplicative structure will give you something. This is so so amazing that uh, although this method up to now looks uh, not uh, very special, but uh, okay in the future I will uh, try to present the uh, Bernard of refinement and uh, see you guys next videos.